Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. I can think of one more person I'm gonna hurt, motherfucker. I'm gonna hurt you. No, you're not. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. Wasn't a full chomp. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kinda hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Hey, I think I found a way out. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm and you don't die of blood loss, well, maybe you won't die from the bite. 
What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. If I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem, we would be happy to have them both. But... You're gonna die. Yeah. But not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof sounds good nice and quiet everybody there's some light up there good gotta get my ass off this ladder Okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. Lee! Lee! Oh god. Are you alive? Get up! I can't move! God damn, I'm stuck! You have to pull yourself up. Good job. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. 
even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. I'll make thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies? Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't gonna let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. But that doesn't really mean much. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now, and I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Can't. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's... it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. The mansion's that way. Bell Tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that. Yeah. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man. Who knows? Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm alright. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. 
Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! You got this! You got this, motherfucker! Get the hell off this roof! What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. How's Lee feeling? Don't change the subject. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Krista's right. Boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. 
dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill! Here's some pills! Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista, search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny, move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben, help Krista. Got it. Omid! What is it? Front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. 
Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Nixon Kent III. Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So... No ideas, then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... Get up! You hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should've cut it off. At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation. About what happens if Lee takes another spill? Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! My arm is not the issue! I'm not the problem! The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem! Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it! This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you! Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? <laughs> You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm 
glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just... Wham! Thing was on it. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. I'm not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? Yeah, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. He used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. I wanted to die. In Crawford. What's that now? When I had him there, in my hand. He wanted me to drop him. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up.
Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. House is full, too. Stay quiet. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Well... Keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! I just slipped- Ow! Oh. How the fuck did this happen? Please, just get me up. Shh, quiet, Ben. They'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God!
Just yank him off that thing. What? Fast. Like a band-aid. Do you think... <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out! Shit! Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee! Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. No, kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! Get him, Kenny! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I couldn't do anything. Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and... It was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you.